For each division, use the remainder theorem to find the remainder. Use the factor theorem to determine if the divisor is a factor of the polynomial. In part A, we'll find the remainder when x cubed minus 1 is divided by x plus 1. What value of x makes the divisor equal 0? Negative 1 is the x value that makes the divisor become 0. We can get the remainder by evaluating p at negative 1. We can evaluate p at negative 1 to get a result of negative 2. By the remainder theorem, x cubed minus 1 divided by x plus 1 has a remainder of negative 2. By the factor theorem, x plus 1 is not a factor since p at negative 1 does not equal 0. Now we'll move on to part b. Find the remainder when x to the power of 4 minus 2x squared plus 3x minus 4 is divided by x plus 2. What value of x makes the divisor equal 0? Negative 2 is the x value that makes the divisor become 0. We can get the remainder by evaluating p at negative 2. p at negative 2 evaluates to negative 2. By the remainder theorem, x to the power of 4 minus 2x squared plus 3x minus 4 divided by x plus 2 has a remainder of negative 2. By the factor theorem, x plus 2 is not a factor since p at negative 2 does not equal 0. Now we'll move on to part c. Find the remainder when 3x to the power of 3 plus 8x squared minus 1 is divided by 3x minus 1. What value of x makes the divisor equal 0? Since the x has a 3 in front of it, we should solve the equation 3x minus 1 equals 0. Add 1 to both sides of the equation to get 3x equals 1. Divide both sides by 3 to get x equals 1 over 3. We can find the remainder by evaluating p at 1 over 3. Rewrite p of x equals 3x cubed plus 8x squared minus 1. Use 1 over 3 as the function input. Evaluate the powers and simplify. Three over 27 reduces to one over nine. Minus one can be written as minus nine over nine. All three terms now have the same denominator. We get a result of zero. By the remainder theorem, 3x cubed plus 8x squared minus 1 divided by 3x minus 1 has a remainder of 0. By the factor theorem, 3x minus 1 is a factor of p of x since p at 1 over 3 equals 0. Now we'll move on to part d. What is the remainder when 2x to the power of 4 plus 3x cubed minus 4x minus 9 is divided by 2x plus 3?
What value of x makes the divisor equal 0? Since the x has a 2 in front of it, we should solve the equation 2x plus 3 equals 0. Subtract 3 from both sides to get 2x equals negative 3. Divide both sides by 2 to get x equals negative 3 over 2. We can find the remainder by evaluating p at negative 3 over 2. Rewrite p of x equals 2x to the power of 4 plus 3x cubed minus 4x minus 9. Use negative 3 over 2 as a function input. Evaluate the powers and simplify. Simplify by multiplying and reducing. The result is negative 3. By the remainder theorem, 2x to the power of 4 plus 3x cubed minus 4x minus 9 divided by 2x plus 3 has a remainder of negative 3. By the factor theorem, 2x plus 3 is not a factor of p of x since p at negative 3 over 2 does not equal 0.